Hi, my name is Kami Parsa, and I'm an oculoplastic surgeon at uh, in private practice in Beverly Hills, uh, and I am also an attending surgeon at Cedar Sinai Medical Center and assistant clinical professor at University of Southern California. Today, we're going to be talking about ptosis, and the name of the talk is a practical approach to ptosis. So, by definition, ptosis means drooping or inferior displacement of any an anatomical structure. You can have blepharotosis, which means droopy eyelids. You can have ptosis of the breast, ptosis of any uh, body parts, and um, that's what, what it means. So now when we talk about blepharotosis, the retractors of the upper eyelid, are there are three of them. The first one is the levator muscle, which probably does 90% of the work. Um, it, it's involved in the voluntary control of uh, eyelid elevation um, and it's controlled by the superior branch of the third cranial nerve. The second one is the Mueller's muscle. Um, it's uh, innervated by the sympathetic nervous system and it gives you about two millimeters of, of lift. And um, the third one is the frontalis muscle, um, which is innervated by the facial nerve and um, it's, it's, it also helps with the elevation. So as you see on this diagram, the frontalis nerve, the frontalis muscle it can play an important role when someone is looking up. 